Hello everyone, it's Lynette Bitch on Raymond Crochet and we are in the camper today. This is Vlogist Day 28, I think. I hope. <laughs> um, and I don't have a lot to show you because yesterday here at the camper was very busy. We arrived, you know, we packed up everything and um, which wasn't much. I mean, we didn't even bring clothes. We we're just wearing the clothes that we have here. Um, we have accumulated some clothes here over the summer. I'll just leave that one. Just leave that one. And uh, so we have, we didn't even pack clothes. We just packed a little bit of food. And then we stopped at the meat market. Um, there's a meat market on the way. It's called Duma's Meats. And they grow their own cows. And um, a lot of times they're already, like they have cows in the pasture outside. <laughs> So you can go and meet your cow and then eat it. Um, you know, pick out the cow you want. I could never, ever, ever do that. <laughs> I could not meet my food. I, mm, I could never eat it then. Uh, so they didn't have any cows out, thank goodness. But they sell, I don't know if they slaughter their own pigs and chickens as well, but I know the cows they do. Uh, anyway, we got some really nice T-bones. And... Uh, we got some chicken wings. So it was like noon when we got here. And then the girls wanted to play cards. So I went, ran off and played cards. And we played cards until it was time to come back and cook dinner. Because we were having those really yummy steaks. Which Roy really cooked. I just came and sat down and ate. <laughs> which was kind of nice. Got that all cleaned up. And we did make bread in the bread machine. Uh, I think I talked about that in a video that I was going to do it and we're going to tweak the recipe a little bit and try it again because the bread was good but heavy and he got a bread he got a slicer so we wanted to play with that and he's very good at slicing the bread on there and he sliced some cheese and crackers for the football game last night well not the crackers but cheese and meat uh summer sausage kind of stuff and so anyway we cleaned up and then it was time to go paint so my painting came out okay. I told you it was going to be a winter scene. At least I think I told you. And it came out okay. And then I got it home got it home back here to the camper. And I ruined it. So this is my winter scene. And I'll show you the night. I can't. There you go. So it's like the night sky. She always wants to give us a night sky. And... A snowman. See, he's got a snowflake landing on his nose, on his carrot nose. So cute. And then I smeared it. He's got a little holly necklace. I sat it down and grazed it with my hand, and it was still wet on the holly. So, if you just don't look at that part, it's fine. <laughs> um, I think his eyes could have been bigger. But the eyes on the original were small, so, because he's looking up, you know. So, anyway, there, there's my completed uh, painting. I am going to bring some white acrylics or watercolors or something and see if I can't maybe paint over it. I mean, that's, that's what I say I'm going to do. Probably not going to do it. <laughs> um. I have a collection of them sitting here now. That's the third one. And they all have a night sky. I don't know why she always wants to do a night sky. Uh, so then I uh, called my granddaughter, who had called me to tell me about her first week of high school. And so she called as we were sitting down to paint. So I called her back and I chatted with her for about an hour. And while I did that, I worked on the walrus a little bit. Oh dear, I'm going to pull out a stitch here. So, still don't have the body. I was lower than this, probably here. And um, I have the pattern saved on my phone. I took pictures of it. I didn't download it because I was having some issues with uh, memory being too full. So, <clears throat> I, I just took some pictures of it versus downloading. I don't know which is actually easier or better, less memory, but... So I was having a hard time chatting with her because she put me on video call and reading the pattern every time I would go to look at the pattern. 
<laughs> she would be grinning. Did you hang up on me? I'm like, no. <laughs> no, I just looking at my pattern. I didn't want her to think I was like not paying attention. So anyway, this is where the walrus is now. Um, this is a two-way yarn. It's ice yarn. Um, Alara. Let's see. If I put this in front of here, you'll probably see it better. Uh, so it's the Alara ice yarn, and it is a two-way yarn, and I'm using a four-millimeter hook. I think she was saying to go with a smaller hook. Oh, wait. This says it's a three. I think it's more like a two. But anyway, um... Oh, that's how big it is, so. I know I used a 4 millimeter hook when I did the baby stuff, but I'm not crocheting this nearly as tight. Uh, so we'll see how big it comes out. I forgot to bring the stuffing, so I can't stuff it anyway. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So, we'll see. But I did, that's all the crocheting I did yesterday. That much. And therefore, I don't have anything else to show you or to really talk about because I did not crochet. I painted and I chatted on the phone and then I went to a fire. And so that's all that there was yesterday. Um, I hope to do more today. There's... Uh, Someone, the neighbor next door had wood delivered, so my husband is helping them put wood away. And I don't even know how long we're staying here today, so it's always up in the air on a Sunday. <laughs> stay or go, stay or go, stay or go. Do the same thing at home that we do here. <laughs> Sit around and do nothing. Uh, well, I'll crochet no matter where I am, so. Anyway, that's it. That's it for Vlogmas Day 28. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.